Hey, what's up, guys? It's Profit, and this is going to be a video on an unboxing that myself and my teammate DMAC did on our two new guns. Except that I'm recording this about a month after I recorded that video because essentially I took a little break from YouTube because of the Google Plus integration. And you know, I decided to conform today. And I've got a new banner, and I'm back to Airsoft because I took also a little break of Airsoft. So here's the video. You'll also see that my hair is actually a lot shorter, and I don't have much of a, of a beard. I don't think I had one in that video. But yeah, enjoy, subscribe, and there will be more videos to come, trust me. And thanks, guys, for watching. What's up, guys? Uh, this is going to be an unboxing on DMAC from our last unboxings, new gun, as well as mine, which I will cut to after this, but DMAC. All right, well... Let's see what we got here from nice UPS. Alright. Alright, well. Surprise, guys, it's just a bunch of paper. Hey, fuck you to me. Ooh, let's see that beautiful box. Beautiful with a BB hole in it. Right. Here we go. So we have the Echo One. It's an Echo One DMR. We just take all this. Capture. Echo One ST6 Daniel Defense MSR 9 inch. Obviously, you see he's done more research on this than I have. Oh my god. Alright, well, just standard designated marksman rifle. Well, maybe not completely standard, but these are your standard. <laughs> Uh, modular rail systems. You can take any of these rails or additional rails and just put them wherever you want. That's why these little holes are here. Oh, got some nice little decals on here. Skull six. Um, a few of these. You can run, but you can't hide. And a skeleton frog. <laughs> what the hell that means? Okay. Uh, we've had. I've heard some pretty good reviews about this gun. Um, what well, was one of the biggest things that made me get this, we saw a guy at the war store who turned this entire thing into some badass looking sniper rifle, which I intend to do that to this. I know it looks like your standard M4, but there are some significant differences, not just in, uh, not just in appearance, but in uh, performance. This thing has about, uh, from what it says right here on the little invoice, it says 384 FPS with 0.20 BBs. So I'm guessing that's gonna, so with my .25s or .28s, it's gonna have to be around 350 FPS. Let's just give or take here. Oh, no, it looks like a nice gun. It's very sturdy. This is all metal up here. All metal, all metal, all metal. This is like some sort of metal. Yeah, this is all mostly metal except for the buttstock. This is, gotta guess, some sort of plastic or polymer. And the lower receiver, oh, yeah, or the receivers good. are, uh, Plastic, but it's a good enough plastic. So oh, yeah. standard nunchuck battery. Oof, it's actually not too bad. So yeah, man. Oh wow, very nice. It's 1500 yeah. milliamps. Wow. Your charger here. Um, since I don't have a smart charger right now because mine broke, I'm gonna end up using this for a little while. But uh, I'd recommend getting a smart charger so it doesn't, you know, overpower your battery and burn it out. Got a nice little M4 mag here. Oh wow, this isn't a high cap. Your semi. Alright, now this is going to be my unboxing, and let's go. This is uh, my little skull cookery that we're going to be using today to unboxer. This is as well from Airsoft GI. And I've been meaning to get one of these rifles for a while, but. I just have not gotten to it, and plus the Airsoft GI, this was $55, guys. Wow, it's combined. And there we are. Now, this is a sniper rifle that must be assembled, but essentially what it is, is a well BSR and, or MBO3, you might call it as well. Um, this is the tan version that literally just came out. I was and I used to have one. I owned it for two years. It was the best stock sniper rifle ever. And this shoot uh, in the new versions, these shoot 450 FPS stock. That's awesome. So I'm gonna get this assembled and we will go show you guys that. So pause it. Alright, so this is uh, the gun assembled. As you can see, that it is tan. 
and that is why I like because there are not a lot of tan snipers out there, especially for bolt actions. Um, I, I love tan, I think it looks great with the uh, black. Um, yes, this is a Chinese clone of a VSR 10, but it shoots 460 FPS on stock, it shoots accurate, and I got this for $55 without scope, of course, but um, that is ridiculous. Um, and I'm very happy because I used to own one of these, like I said, and it broke, and I've been meaning to get a new one now. Just kind of being a little bit stubborn. I hold like 50 or 25 rounds. Um, what's cool is that, well, kind of cool, I guess not really, I might, but they have trades, sort of trades right there, which they didn't have on the older models. Um, but that's pretty much, I mean, it's just standard. The uh, barrel's a little bit texturized, which you might not be able to see. I mean, sort of. I mean, it has a cool glint. Yeah, and the light a little bit. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, that was the gun. Airsoft G, I did not chrono this, but it shoots about 500, 450 FPS, according to the site, which I can't agree with. Now, what else comes in the box? I got a bunch of propaganda from GI. I mean, they're actually putting in stuff that um, new players would be, uh, I mean, would cater to new players. But it's not here to me. My five years came with a speed loader that already broke on me, sort of. Oh, there. Came with a sling. Um, probably will not trust it with it. It's a two pointer. I mean, it'll probably hold it just because it is a two pound gun, but. Oh, yeah. Bag of BBs. And yeah, so that was my unboxing of the uh, Well MBO 3T for tan, and uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys later, thanks for watching, and all these products are going to be down below if you want to check them out, later.